Oh, hey, 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 everyone. How's it going today? It's me, Lance Cardinal. Welcome to this beautiful day the Creator has made for us. I'm so excited that you've joined me here for Indigenous Art Adventures presented by Resilient Schools. It's going to be an amazing day filled with culture and art and whatever else we can do today. It's going to be a lot of fun, so thank you so much for being here. Such an honor to have you. Now, I am from the Treaty 8 Big Stone Cree Nation. I come from the little community of Calling Lake up north, and uh, I'm so happy to be here in Treaty 6 territory. Such an honor living in Edmonton. Happy to be here with you guys and do these amazing videos. But today, as we always do with these things, we're going to start off with our greeting. That's right, it's time to say hello in Cree. And as you can see here, we have the word for Cree, uh, for hello in Cree, which is Tanse. That's right, the word is Tanse. So, yes, the English word is hello, and the Cree word is Tanse. Now, this right here is called Cree syllabics. That is an ancient symbol language that represents the sounds in the Cree word. So, right here, we see this sound says ta. This sound says ne. And this shape says se. So, it's tan se And all together, it's tanse. So, I want you to try that word for yourself at home. Okay, on the count of three, I'm going to hear you say tanse. Are you ready? One. Two, three. Oh my goodness, amazing job. That is so awesome. You are so amazing. Good job trying to say that word. And if you did it amazingly, awesome, awesome job. Because trying is all that matters. And uh, yeah, so whenever you see someone who might be indigenous and then you might want to say hello, just say dance. And that'll be awesome. Okay, all right, let's get on with our day today. The first thing we're going to do, as always, is the Cree word of the day. That's right, the Cree word of the day. And today's Cree word, which is also the theme of the day, is... Itasanasuin. Itasanasuin. That means colors in Cree. That's right, the word here is in Cree, itasanasuin. And the English word, colors. And of course, the syllabics version right down there. So yes, there it is. Today's theme is colors. And we're going to look at rainbows and all sorts of fun, amazing things. But that leads us to our project, which today is... Rainbow ribbon wind socks. That's right. We're gonna make these really really cool ribbon wind socks You can hang on your patio or at your house or at your cabin Or even if you guys go outside and play you can run with it on a stick and make it fly in the wind it's So so much fun. We're gonna make that today if, if that's okay with you guys. It's gonna be awesome Okay, but first we need all our supplies. What we need first is a paper cup or a styrofoam cup I have one of these here cotton balls. You can see I have a whole pile of cotton balls right here ready to go Ah, colored ribbon. We have lots of lots and lots of colored ribbon, which I have cut into about that long of a piece each one. So I have about 12 pieces of ribbon already cut, which is perfect. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, string to hang it with. I have some string here I'm going to use to hang it with to hang this windsock outside or put it on a stick. Uh, we have a glue gun, of course. The glue gun is right here and plug it in as soon as you can. It takes a while to heat up. But remember, this is very hot. And if you are not comfortable using it, please ask someone you know or love to help you. They're more than happy to give you a hand, I'm sure, because it's, it's okay to ask for help, and those who love you will always be there for you. So go ahead and do that. That is so awesome. So plug in your glue gun, get it ready to go. That'll be useful a little bit later on. And of course, we have tape. In case you don't want to use a glue gun, you can use tape to tape your ribbons, but they may fall off, so glue guns are always better. And of course, some scissors to cut your ribbons. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to leave a picture of the, of, the, of the hanger right here so you can see how it looks uh, as we work along. So the first thing we're going to do today is get our cup in order. Now, we need to have a cup that goes all the way through to have the wind fly through. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the top off wherever we like. I'm going to cut mine right about here so I can leave this much and take the top off. Now, this might be a little difficult for you again. If you're not comfortable using scissors, please ask someone you love, your mom or your dad or your cook -em or your grandma or your grandma whoever's around to give you a hand okay perfect now my cup kind of broke as i did it so i'm going to tape it up and just, and that's okay because as art happens it happens and there's no wrong or right way that's just the way it goes so here we have our cup now which is perfectly open ready for wind to fly all the way through so awesome this is gonna be so fun all right so what we're gonna do now is put the string on so we need to put the string on that's gonna help it fly and hang in the wind okay so we need um three pieces of string one two <laughs> lost my end here somewhere and three <laughs> Perfect. All right. We go 
want to make sure these strings are all pretty much the same length. That way it's easier to tie them together. First thing we're going to do is attach them to the top of our cup in three different spots, okay? Now I'm going to use glue, uh, tape for this part because it's easier that way and uh, then that way it won't be hard to glue. So one piece there, tape it on the inside, tape the second piece in, right about there, and one more for the third piece. And there it goes right in there. Okay, three strings hanging on the outside of the cup. Now we put them all together to the top and we connect them together. See that? And make sure they're all even in the same spot. And then we tie a knot right about there. There we go. Perfect. That's ready for, for assembly. Okay, next step is putting on the clouds. Okay, so now we have cotton balls here, which is so awesome. We want to make nice fluffy cloud on top of this cup and cover all the colors. So here's where we use our glue gun. Now, don't forget, the glue gun is very, very hot. So if you're not comfortable using the glue gun, please ask somebody you love and care about. All right, so we get the cotton balls and we start attaching them right to the outside of the cup wherever we can see some glue and uh, start making our fluffy cloud. Now, cotton balls are actually made from a cotton plant, which is picked right from a plant in the ground. It comes out almost exactly like you see here. Now, this is basically a raw form of cotton, but this is also used for making clothes and all sorts of other products uh, that we use in everyday life. Cool, cool, cool. Looking really good. So far, so good. Cotton balls on one side. Let's keep going. Now, if you don't like using glue gun, you can always use um, white glue or something that's a little bit less hot. But I do warn you, it does not stick as, as quickly, so you will take a little bit longer. So if you're going to use a different kind of glue, you might have to pause the video, glue all your cotton balls on, and then start it up again when you're done gluing, okay? Now you want to make sure all the outside is not showing so that all the clouds cover the entire cup. This side too. La la la, making clouds, such a fun thing, I love to make crafts with you, it's so fun, I hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> That's right you guys, it's so much fun to play with you every day and make some crafts, especially something as fun like this, which will be so beautiful once it's hanging on your patio, or maybe give it to your grandma or grandpa. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, our tape came off. I'm gonna use some glue gun and tape our string in just with the glue gun. Be a little bit easier. There we go. Now, perfect. Two, ready to start with the bottom part. So the, glue, the cloud's already done. Looks really, really cool. Get a little glue gun strings off of that. Perfect. Now, the next step is to add our rainbow. So the clouds are gonna have a rainbow flying out the bottom. So what we're gonna do is get our ribbons. I have so many fun ribbons here in lots of different colors. Um, which is really cool. I have yellow, green, purple, orange, blue, yellow again, <laughs> black, and red. Now, I love to use all the colors of the rainbow in my windsock, even black, because black is just as important as yellow. All colors are important. Black's important, brown's important, red's important. All the colors of the rainbow are equally as beautiful. And that's the way life should be, right? So what we're gonna do now is take our cup on the bottom side where there's no strings, and we're gonna start gluing our pieces of a ribbon on the bottom. Now, if you haven't cut your ribbon yet, go ahead and pause the video, cut your ribbon, and come on back. Oh, I just made, do you see that? I made a, a pipe cleaner fly. Oh my goodness, crazy day. All right, so I'll start gluing this on one at a time. Now, I like to put the glue right on the ribbon and then stick it on the inside and then switch the side. So we do one side first, then the next, opposite. So always going to the opposite side to keep it always different and not bunched up together. Now make sure you don't put the same two colors beside each other. You wanna make sure that there are different areas, different colors, so when it flies in the wind, it makes an amazing rainbow effect. Now like I said before, if you're not comfortable using um, glue gun, you can always use a really 
strong tape. Now, masking tape would be the best thing for this kind of project. Uh, the little clear tape might not hold it very well, but uh, you can try whatever you have at home. Uh, you can try uh, duct tape. A lot of us love duct tape, and I have some at our homes. I love duct tape. I have lots of it. We're going to put black on as well because every color counts, which is amazing. And I have one more orange string left right here. Get that on real quick. Oh my goodness! Check it out! Isn't that amazing? I love it! Oh, I left, I left one out! Purple! Oh my goodness, I better put that on. So, get some glue. Last minute changes are always okay. Remember, there's no rules to art. You go with the flow. Make it up as you go along. Alright. And there you go, my friends. That is it. Simple, easy, and beautiful. Isn't that awesome? And you can put it on a if you want to put it on a stick, you can take it outside. You can fly it around like this, or hang it on your patio and let the wind carry it all the way through. Isn't that wicked? I'm sure yours looks just as good as mine, if not better, because your work is always perfect just the way it is. Now, now that we have our beautiful rainbow um, ribbon windsock, let's learn about some Cree words for for colors. Some you know, Cree, ah, let's learn Cree words for colors. <laughs> let's start with the color red. Okay, so we have a red ribbon right here, and that word is mihwau. Red, mihwau. Say it after me. Red, mihwau. Perfect, easy as pie. Yellow, osawau. Yellow, osawau. Now let's hear you try it. Yellow is Osawao, perfect, that's awesome. Now green, ah, asketakao, astakao, astakao. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Green, that is asketakao. Asketakao. It's the hardest one, I don't know very well how to say it, but that's green. That's green right there. Asketakao. 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 Oh my goodness, my friends, you know what? It's always okay to make mistakes and fumble up and do everything that you're gonna do. Just go with the flow, make it happen, allow it to happen, it's okay. <laughs> Next up we have blue, sipihwao. Right there, blue, sipihwao. White, wapiskwao. That's white, wapiskwao. Oh, oh, the clouds, the clouds are white, wapiskwao. Gray, pekonahwan. Pekonahwan is gray, we don't have gray, but that's a gray color there. Brown. Gasketio Sawa. Gasketio Sawa is brown, which is Osawa and Gasketio together, which makes black and yellow combined make brown. So that's why they're both those words are together. Gasketio Sawa. Now black is Gasketiwa. Gasketiwa. Black. Isn't that cool? So now you've learned some Cree words. Let's go through them together and as we go down, let's say them together as a team. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Red. Mihwao, yellow, osawao, green, askitakwao, blue, sipihwao, white, wapiskwao, gray, pekonakwan, brown, kasketiwao osawao, and of course, black, kasketiwao. So there you go, my friends, Cree words for colors, and I hope you learned a little bit about colors today, so now you can know what those colors are, and if you want to practice and practice, just stop the video, rewind it, play it again, say it again, play it again, say it again, and eventually it'll be second nature, which is really, really great. So um, that's it, you guys. Awesome job, everyone. You did an amazing job making our beautiful windsock today, and I'm so happy to always be here making art with you guys. So, so cool. Now, if you want to see some more fun videos, go check out my YouTube channel, which is Family Art Adventures with Lance Cardinal on YouTube. There's so many more videos like this you can look at and learn some really cool crafts, uh, learn about some indigenous artists and you know have a great time online so go check it out thank you once again for being here today and uh, may you have a beautiful day and may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines the grass grows and the river flows have a great day guys